Hey guys, this is Henry from StudioPlavi.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a custom dashboard page for Tutor LMS using Oxygen Builder. So the first step is to make sure you have installed our three mandatory plugins, which are Oxygen Builder, Oxygen Tutor LMS and Tutor LMS. Next, we have to check our pages and make sure we have a dashboard page created. For this example, we are going to use the name dashboard for this page. Next, we are going to set up our permalinks. This will allow us to have a simple link structure that will help us to build our custom dashboard page. Next, we are going to check tutor element settings and set up our dashboard page. Now we are going to visit our dashboard page and see what it looks like. Our dashboard page is now empty. So the next step is to create the dashboard template in Oxygen Builder. So for that we are going to the WordPress dashboard and under Oxygen Templates we are going to add a new template and give it a name. I have named it Dashboard Template and we are going to edit with Oxygen. Inside Oxygen Builder we are going to create a section and in this section we are going to add the Tutor LMS Dashboard component and we are going to save it and we are going to check on the front end. Our page is still empty, that's why we haven't set up a template for this page, so we are going to do that. We are going to edit page and give this page the oxygen template we just created. And if we check this page again, it will show us the default dashboard. It has a left side or navigation with some links, a header and the main content. So our next step is to copy all of these links and save it for later. You can just right click it and copy the URL and save it elsewhere. I have already stored all the cyber links including the add new course link. So we're gonna save this for later. Next thing we're going to do is to inspect this page. So this will allow us to see the main structure of this page. We are going to click on this little icon and we are going to hover over the sections. So as you can see, this default dashboard page comes with three main sections. What we are going to do, just for testing, is we are going to hide the header and the left sidebar. We are going to select this line of HTML code and in the CSS reference, we are going to hide it. Ok, so the header is now gone. We are going to do the same for the left sidebar. To be able to hide this left sidebar, we have to assign CSS rule here where it says element.style. So the left sidebar is now gone. So now we are going to modify the CSS code for the main content section. So it fits the 100% available space. Ok, after seeing this code editing works, now we are going to apply it in the right way under the customized window for WordPress. And under additional CSS, we are going to paste the edited code that we did before. Don't worry if you don't remember this code, it will be pasted on the description box below. And now we are going to publish. We close this window and we see that our page looks exactly the way we want. So what we are going to do now is edit our dashboard template in Oxygen and add our design elements. We are going to Oxygen edit dashboard template, edit with Oxygen. Inside Oxygen Builder what we are going to do is to start from scratch. So we are going to delete this section and add a new one. This section will have three columns. The left column will have a navigation, the middle column will have the main content 
on the right column we have another navigation so we are going to edit this section and apply some styling we are going to make this layer horizontal next we are going to add some divs this div will have 20% of space we are going to duplicate this and give it 60% and we are going to duplicate this and give it 20% we are going to apply some margin to the middle column 8 pixels left, 8 pixels right we are going to apply some background and some other styling next we are going to insert the dashboard component from Tutor LMS into this column so this is the fun part you can create any element that you want in these two columns I have created some navigation elements so I may import this now okay so I have my design already in place and what we are going to do now is assign the links to every navigation element do you remember the links we have copied in the first part of this video? We are going to use them right now. We are going to assign this link to the corresponding element on your design. For example, the dashboard URL needs to go in the dashboard link. So we paste it. The same goes with my profile. And you have to do this with every single link on your design what I forgot to mention before pasting the links is that you have to make sure this link structure is based upon your dashboard page name in this example our dashboard page is called dashboard but if you pick another name let's say control panel so the link will be your domain slash control panel and for my profile slash control panel my profile so you please check that before applying this link to your design elements about this create course link there are two options if you have the free version of tutor lms the url for this link will take you to the wordpress backend course creation window and if you have the pro version this link will take you to the front end course creation so the link structure will be different in this case I'm using free version of Tutor LMS and the URL looks like this so I copy and paste it on my link for the pro version the link will have this structure and you can see this link structure is based upon the dashboard page name so be careful with that if you have the pro version you can just copy and paste this URL on the corresponding link ok so we now have our design completed and it's time to make the tests we are going to save it and check it on the front end ok so our custom dashboard page is looking the way we want it but we are going to test it so we click all the links and see where it takes us so the dashboard link works my profile link it also works my courses link it works, my wish lists, it works, my reviews, works, my quizzes, my purchase, my account, we can modify my account here, created courses, it works, announcement, also works, so everything works, let's check out the create course link, it works. If you have some issues with your link not working, you can resave your permalinks and that should fix them. Ok, so after making the test, we can say that our custom dashboard page is now completed. It was really easy to create this custom dashboard page using Oxygen Builder. So now is the time for you to be creative and design this page as you want it. That's all for today's video, I hope you all enjoyed it. I will be creating more content about Oxygen Builder and its flexibility to create custom design elements easily. 
thanks for watching this video and I see you guys on the next one. Hasta luego.